sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross your eyes. I really read her magazine to get advice on on how to act around Queen. And she looks great. And Dr. Jamie Foster Brown has just entered the room, ladies and gentlemen. Looking awesome, as always. Hey, boo-boo. There you go. Boom, Hi. bomb. Give hey, happy, happy, happy anniversary. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Sway, are you wow, making wow. out on air? Wow. My wow. goodness. Wow. And Jamie's wiggling <laughs> wow. back? Wow. <laughs> Yo, Jamie, have a seat, Jamie, and cool off. Hey, right, Sway, has doing? any woman ever called you delicious before? Uh, did you say how many? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, watch out. Da, 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 come on, Dr. Jamie okay, Brown. Dr. Foster Dr. Brown, Brown. all right? He don't want me to touch your baby. Hey, how are you? Is the mic on? Yes, yes, the mic is on. Oh, we, sure. We're live on air. Okay. Uh, okay uh, this chair's kind of high. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. First of all, congratulations on the 25th anniversary yes. of Sister <gasps> to Sister. You. Thank you. Yeah, that was one of my Ooh. favorite reads. Yes. Um, and um, and you and I have known each other for years now. And, uh, and, and, and I always I, thought you were cute, too. You know? Really? Mm-hmm. Tell, tell, tell Dr. Jamie mm-hmm. Foster Brown. Thank you. Yeah. 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 You to tell the truth, Jamie the devil. Okay, that's what's up. And I, I always thought, I thought you were attractive, too. I know that. What happened? Bigger than cute. I've been married too long. Yeah, you're, you're married. What could happen? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me in no trouble. I, 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 just, I don't you know. even know if he's listening right now. <laughs> well, well, maybe he is. Lorenzo, Lolo, right? Lolo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 45 years next month. Y'all been married wow. for 45 years. That deserves a round of applause. Yeah, too. wow. So in 25 years, um, you've been doing Sister to Sister, mm-hmm. uh, which to me is one of my favorite magazines because it's a, a real read. And you can yeah. really find out about folks, who they are uh, beneath the surface. And I always like, listen, you know, I told you I like to read to find out the mind of a woman, too. Yes. Yeah, so, um, and. Uh, well, I like to find out the mind of a man. Okay, well, that's, you know. Well, we, well I, I interview mostly men because men dominate the industry. Uh-huh. So, and that's important to me because I think that men have, um. You all are given a bad pass when you come here. You're not allowed to cry. You're not allowed to be human. Yes. I was just in the car in the taxi with the guy who's, who was trying to keep from crying because his wife left him. Wow. He's a Puerto Rican. And I said, when you come here, we all come here the same. And God, you know, brings us here. The uh-huh. doctor slaps us on the behind. The girls cry. The boys cry. Why is it that the boys have to stop crying? And they're not allowed to show emotion. Yeah. They're not allowed to grow inside. Yeah. It's not there and then they burst out some they do stupid things mm-hmm. they, they hit their woman or their kids and they got to let it out some we're frustrated way. We're frustrated. I understand. We're, we're, we're suppressed. Our emotions are suppressed and we're scared to show them. Cry then, well, Sway, I'm cry. Not, I try to. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm it's here. hard. It's even hard for a man to, to try to cry. It is. It you is. And, and he was crying. He said, stop talking to me about this. And I said, he said, I'm crying. I said, crying is like um, a, a rinsing. It mm-hmm. allows the toxins to come out. Mm-hmm. And it's good to cry. When I gather strength, when I cry. Yeah. When I cry, I'm like, oh, okay, good. Okay, I got this guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so I, I want men to let go. And I'm here to breastfeed you guys. Yeah, oh, thank <laughs> you, man. You can pull that out right now, doctor. I mean, you know what I mean, figuratively speaking. Let me Dr. See Dr. Jamie dick. Foster Brown is here. If your man, uh, if your man never cried, no, if your man has cried in front of you before for the first time, I'm curious to how that experience was. And we're going to talk more about sister to sister. 888-742-3345. All right, Sway in the morning, Shay 45, 11 minutes into the hour. We got Dr. Jamie Foster Brown, a founder of Sister to Sister a Magazine, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary. She has joined us. Uh, and brought up a, a really interesting topic about um, bitchy, whiny men who cry, um, or men now who. Why are, you say bitchy, I mean, I'm whiny sorry. I'm, I because took that. that's why they don't cry. Because you just say y'all, they, y'all bitchy, whiny, y'all weak. I mean, that's y'all. the perception of men that cry. That's what I meant to say. Crying is good. It's a. Re- I really wish we would have our, let our men cry more. Mm-hmm. You know, I talk. I, my husband is so forward thinking. I mean, I think this guy is the coolest cool. I mean, he's just so cool. And and he was like, he was a feminist before I was. He was like, you better get out there and get me my money. That's, That's what he <laughs> <laughs> said. Oh, okay, I will. All right, okay. We, we, call that, we call that a pimp in Oakland. That's where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> he is a pimp, you know? Oh, yeah, well, he's well. a working pimp because, he, you know, he runs the company. Yeah. So he, it wasn't like I was the only one out there. You know, he was back there mm-hmm. holding it down. But he... Um, 
<laughs> when he was um, yes. with his, his, his uh, sons, we have two sons, uh-huh. beautiful boys. And then when they were like five years old, you know, we were kissing, hugging on them. You know, our children are born in Stockholm in Sweden because uh-huh. we lived over there. You, first you nine graduated years. from school out there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm a doc- yeah, yeah, I'm at the University of Stockholm mm-hmm. graduate, and he has his doctorate in economics okay. there, from there. Oh, wow. And so the kids. Uh, he, we kissed and hugged on them, but when they got to be five years old, he was like, I'm not kissing and hugging on them anymore. And I'm like, why not? You know, they still need that. I thought he was really backwards. I thought he was really Neanderthal uh-huh. because he's so forward in his thinking <laughs> and everything else. Mm-hmm. You know, but he was he was like, you don't be kissing on no boys. You know, I said, they need you now more than anything because there's a lot of things that are going to happen to them. They're going to be challenged. Uh-huh. You know, the other kids are going to come up and fight them or whatever. They got to have some place to go in their hearts and their heads and somebody to put their arms around them and tell uh-huh. them, now you get on back out there, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. No, you know. okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who I was just with. <laughs> Floyd's great, right? We got Stephanie on the line from Texas in okay. uh, relation to this conversation. What do you feel about man, uh, men crying? Have Has your man ever cried in front of you? One time he cried in front of me. Um, the first time we ever experienced, ever experienced him crying was we're both in the military and he dropped me off at the airport to go to Iraq. I was deploying. Mm. And I called him before I boarded the plane and I could hear him crying. Yeah. But he didn't do it in front of me. And wow. so this yeah. was about six years ago. Yeah. And then probably last year, he was watching a video about this debil- debilitating disease called Duchenne's disease. Mm-hmm. And I had I had just woke up in the morning. He was in the office studying for this paper he was going to write. And I go into the, our office, and he's crying, like tears running down his face because he felt so bad for this guy that had this disease. But that's the only time I've ever experienced him crying. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, did you, what did you think of um, that moment when you saw him crying? Did you did you think any less of him? Did you think, did it open up your relationship more? It did open it up a lot more. I, at first I thought something was wrong. Like, oh, my goodness, what what's wrong? Like, yeah. who's hurt? What's going right. on? And then he told me it was about him watching this video and mm-hmm. he felt for this man who was being taken over by this disease. And it really opened up my eyes like, wow, he does have emotions like deep down in there. You know, thank you for sharing that with us, Stephanie. You know, I guess Dr. Jamie Foster Brown is right. We should all start crying more. Mm-hmm. Right? No, that works, Sway. I don't want Sway I crying think you, at I, work, Dr. Brown. I, if, if it helps Sway, <laughs> if, I if, want, it, if it gives him strength. Yeah. The I, hell with what anybody else, else is saying. I mean, look, we we hear we divorce. You know, he's yeah, a man. Open. I'm a man. Right. I'm a man. Uh, oh. But you know, uh, uh, and we we're very open <laughs> and honest and transparent on this show. You know, if I feel the need to cry, have I come in here? I'll be holding a lot. I can be. You can cry at funerals. Yeah. People can cry at funerals, and that's okay. But 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 there's other kinds of hurt yeah. in the world that you know. This, I just think it's a good thing. Thank you, Dr. Jamie Foster yeah. Brown. Is celebrating the 25th anniversary of Sister to Sister. Just real quick, how in this digital age, how has a magazine like yours survived? What did Barely. you have to do? <laughs> <laughs> But we've got new uh, ambitions uh-huh. because it's very important that my community uh, gathers. Yeah. And so we have something called The Gathering where different organizations will gather and pop- will popularize what they do inside the magazine two or three times a year. You know, the magazine is, is uh, international. Mm-hmm. But what it does is allows us to speak to one another to find out what organizations, what scholarships, what um, any kind of help uh, place we can go yeah. to be better. I just want my people, my community. I love everybody, mm-hmm. but I'm in love with my folks. I'm yes. in love with black folks. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. That's just uh-huh. the way it is. Mm-hmm. So. We don't talk to each other enough. We don't communicate enough. We don't know who's got what and who can help. And that's what that is about. So I, I, we have a program coming up, a subscription program, and the groups that come into the gathering, we actually give them 3 or $4 back for each subscription. Yeah. So if you've got like 10,000 members, they subscribe, they get $30,000 from us. Wow. They get it back. Plus, we popularize what you do uh-huh. in that magazine. So how magazine. could you sign up for that? Like you just go to sister to sister. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're creating creating the website. Nicole is here today. I, I brought her on yesterday. We've been we've been mulling around and chewing on this for like several months. Yeah, how to do it, when to do it, how we can help everybody, and also help them with the different organizations. Say, okay, your conference is coming up. Here's the sheets that they should sign up yeah. for. And then Nicole, she monitors how who comes in. Each group has a, a 
um, a code. Yeah. There's so many groups, the Zetas, the AKAs, the Lynx. I mean, there's WIN, there's NAPFAM, there's the boss organization. Yeah. They're really interested, and it's mostly African-American women uh-huh. right but now. But can, can, can um, Asian women also participate? Yes. anybody, and, and, and yeah. Can, because Czechoslovakian sister women, can they, can they participate? Sway, she says she loves everybody, but she's in love I'm with. I'm in love with, just like I, you know, I love all y'all, but I'm in love with my husband. You see okay, what I'm saying? I get it, I get it, I get it. Dr. I Jamie can't be Foster going Brown. to bed with y'all okay. just because I love you. I just love my husband. I'll cry if you okay, do. I'm, oh, all, right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, 23 minutes into the hour, we got a very special guest, Dr. Jamie Foster Brown from Sister to Sister joining us. Tracy G. Yes. What you got for me? Woo. Well, first of all, I'm wondering if Chili and T-Boz knew the full gamut of drama that would come from putting that TLC biopic out because we have seen bomb after bomb. The most recent one was with Pebble's daughter when she went on record and said that Chili had an affair of her daddy, who is L.A. Reid. Woo. Now, Pebble, she's coming out of her side of the story. She sat with Wendy Williams, and she addressed just that. I suspected a couple of things, but I didn't want to believe that, and I... Ooh. For years, I didn't want to believe that because I felt F- like they were daughters to me. I cannot tell you that, but I am going to write my book and put it in Ooh. there. But believe me when I say, I saw a couple of things. Yo, that, so it, isn't it? Well, Jamie Foster Brown is here. Dr. Jamie Foster Brown from Sister to Sister is here. This is something that was rumored like years ago anyway. Right, if you right, weren't anywhere yeah. around the music business. I remember this one when it first Me came too, out. Me too, Sway. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, she's coming out. Pebbles has been quiet for years. She and I have talked at length for so long. And, and, and she's held so much in. In fact, when this happened, this um, biopic just came out, she, she called me and she was livid because she said, Nobody really knows. I, I've kept this quiet for 20 years, yeah. and I've been the bad guy for 20 years. But it was her daughter, Ashley, who called and said, well, you know, mom only had a production deal. Mm-hmm. So when they have a production deal, they only get like 16 cents t- off the dollar. Yeah. Then you got to split that but with four ways. With, yeah. with the, the artist. Yeah. With the artist. But the the record company is the one that gets all the money, yeah. and that was of course um, ran by L.A. Reid. L.A. Reid and well, Clive Davis and Clive uh, Davis. Yes. Okay. So the bulk of the money went to them. But I don't understand why Pebbles has allowed people to really dog, dog her down mm-hmm. like that, and also all these years, and then also that um, in the next issue we talk about because she she talks about it. She talks about it. Left Eye's uncle talks about it. Uh, I mean, we've got everybody in there talking about what happened during that time in the issue that I'm yeah. putting out next. And it, that, but is all this going to tarnish the? You know, they have such a great legacy as a group, and as, as much as they accomplished as artists, do you feel like all of this is going to tarnish that legacy now? Well. Not, uh, not really. I mean, when you listen to the music, like, I mean, when I was l- watching the show, I was like, oh, my God, I forgot they had that hit, and they yeah. had that hit, yeah. that hit, and that hit. Yeah. So I think the music will live forever. Uh-huh. It's not going to be the sweetest thing for the girls with, with uh, Tion and them because uh, there are other stuff that's coming out that on those girls. Like you know? what? Oh, that's why I was just telling you that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so gonna tell you, you know, this it's just a lot that happened during that time, and, and especially Left Eye's family is very upset, mm-hmm. very upset about how she was portrayed in that. Um, Left Eye called me. I remember I was in France. I it was one o'clock in the morning. I was in Paris, and uh, the phone rings, and and it's my staff. They said, "Left eyes on the phone. She doesn't care where you are. She needs to talk to you right now because she's really upset about what the girls are saying about her and what she's doing, and she needs to talk to you now." And I had to take a lot of time mm-hmm. with Left Eye. And when she passed, everybody was like, "Oh my God!" Uh, telling the mother, "We'll take care of you. Don't you worry about anything." She didn't hear from anybody. The mother was so devastated. I was uh, with uh, Tom George at that time and so I, I booked the cruise for uh-huh. her yeah. and her husband you know she's married to T-Boss's uncle yeah and so I booked them on a cruise then after that uh, documentary came out I had to book them on another cruise because when they came out of the documentary they, she was just she devastated she, yeah, I was just de- she, she, she was devastated she had put um, left eyes assistant who was down there if you ever yeah. saw the documentary yeah. and she was like she took care of everything Stephanie Dayton uh, Left Eye's mother put Stephanie with me when Left Eye died. 
and wow. said, I need for Stephanie to be with you to help you. So I knew a lot. Dr. Jamie Foster on. Brown from Sister to Sister celebrating their 25th anniversary. She got the inside Yo, scoop. My yeah. God. Taking my job. I know. Go, go Tracy, one more story. Never, one more ever, story, ever, Tracy ever. G. All go. right, I got something that you don't have, though, Jamie. We're okay. talking about Mariah Carey because it feels like she has a lot to get off her chest and has everything to do with American Idol. Remember her season? It was very memorable, not for the contestants, but because of her beef with Nicki Minaj. They were clashing all the time. People felt like it was a publicity stunt. But Mariah, she recently did an interview, and this is what she said about working with Nicki. It was, it was like... Um, it was like hell, going to work every day in hell with Satan. <laughs> Satan? She called Nicki Minaj Satan? Yeah. Oh, come on. That's a little extreme. Satan? <sighs> Satan, Heather? Who cares about American Idol? Uh, uh, come on, man. You can't say who cares about American who Idol. Cares? Who cares? Who's the last person that what? won? That's we don't watch for that. That's we watch for the judges. Know, nobody that's cares so about that show. We watch for the judges. Get out of here. <laughs> Boo. But, but, nobody but cares. I, I don't like the get way. Out of here. I, but, but, get Jamie, out of here. I think it's something to be said. Like uh, I think um, um, when, a book I read uh, when I was uh, young, it was uh, um, um, the biography of Malcolm X. And, um, and uh, one of the things he learned uh, under uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was mm. to beware of the cameras, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. they could be your greatest friend or your biggest enemy. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to see people really let a lot of uh, inner demons play out in front of the public at any cost. Uh, and I think it's for the sake of attention, might be desperation, might they may be fame addicts. I don't want to hear Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj play whatever this beef is out on television, out in the public eye so much. I know that's the business we do. It's it's pretty. You know, but you do what, sister to sister. Nicki Minaj and, and Mariah will be all right. Yeah. It's the babies that we're raising to that coming along. Our children, they hear all this beefing amongst adults. We have no idols that we can look at, people that we can look up at and say that they comported themselves in the right manner. I'm just concerned about the children. Nikki and, and uh, Mariah, they can be friends next week. You know how it is. You yeah. can't love these hoes in, in this business. Nah, you know? man. Just get, <laughs> get that money from them, though. That's hysterical. <laughs> you can't. I, I mean, that's the best thing that Snoop ever said. Yeah. I don't know them hoes. You can't love them. You can't yeah. love them because, you know, they, they, you don't, you fall out with them, and then the next thing you know, you they best friends again, and you out. You know, yeah. it's just, you know. But and and people do what they have to do for business. But what we're showing our children today is an abomination. I'm mm. just I'm just so devastated. America eats is young. Yeah, we eat our children and shit them out and shit them out. Damn, you eat them and, and shit them out. out and shit them out. I never out. heard that. Before. Yeah, you eat them and shit them out. Uh, Jamie, Doctor Jamie Foster Brown, thank oh you God. for coming by. Sister to sister, <laughs> celebrating its 25th anniversary. Be sure to get this um, this issue, this month's issue with Floyd Mayweather on the cover, the November issue, where he speaks um, and tells his personal simple, story about that, being in prison. Oh, um, the November real? issue has uh, Jamie Foster oh, Brown on the, the cover. Okay, I get, okay. She gave us an advanced copy oh, we of got December. the December issue? Yes. Yeah. All right. And then SisterToSister.com, too, right? People going. S2SMagazine.com. Uh, We're doing really great. Over S2S Magazine. S2S uh -huh. Magazine.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. S2S Magazine.com. Over six million a day. Yeah. That's good. It's doing real good. All right. Sister. Dr. Brown, thank you for coming thank by. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Sister, hey. sister, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45.